Uh, you may remember that last week we reported on Metropolitan Police Constable Fabian Aguila Delgado, who has been accused of kissing and sucking on a domestic abuse victim's breasticle when police were called to her home following a call from a concerned neighbour. It was said that the woman was assaulted as she stood at the top of the stairs in her home whilst Delgado offered to search the house for anyone potentially still there. Delgado was still a wet behind the ears cop, having only been out of training for around one month. In the last report, it was mentioned that the woman allegedly has an alcohol dependency issue and during her interview, she told police that she had drunk three quarters of a bottle of wine before the alleged assault. The woman said he forced himself on her, kissing her on the mouth and on the breasticle. The court heard the woman wrote down her phone number and took it out to the car to give to Delgado because she thought he might want to see her, but his colleague returned it. The woman added, I was scared to say anything, then I tried to back out of it because I thought, this is the police you're dealing with. But then I thought, if he's done that to me, has he done it to anyone else? Once the woman reported the incident, a swab was taken of, of her right nipple and DNA from Delgado was actually found. I will link to the previous report in the description and at the end of this report. Well, on Friday last week, Delgado had a chance to give his side of the story as he gave evidence at Southwark Crown Court. During his questioning by both the defence and the prosecution, he claimed that his DNA may have ended up on her breast after she shook his sweaty hand. He also said that the DNA may have ended up on her nipple as he had been close to her talking loudly and maybe spitting or coughing as well as touching handles in her home in Croydon. He said the way she grabbed and shook my hand to say thank you, it wasn't like a normal handshake. She just put the full arm in and grabbed it. I remember that she went back and I don't know if she touched herself to pull her top up. Jurors were told on Friday how Delgado was shocked and thought it impossible when told about the report. The court were told that Delgado didn't have a body cam at the time as there simply wasn't enough for everybody on the police force. But he did arrive at the scene with a colleague who sat in the car whilst Delgado went into the property. Now this to me is a huge issue. If Delgado was still wet behind the ears, having only just come out of training, then, then he would have been on a probationary period with a police trainer who should have been with him at the time. And the fact his colleague allowed him into the property of a domestic abuse victim alone, when there could have been somebody in the home, is very poor judgment at the very least. But of course, nothing's being said about that. Delgado said that the woman was confused and agitated at the time and that he found her difficult to understand because she was erratic and nervous and under the influence of alcohol. Now, the trial is continuing. There hasn't been any information from the court about yesterday's hearing yet but when there is further information i will of course bring that to you something's not really adding up with this story so far